Hey Professor, I cannot believe how much this article has affected the school. It's just ridiculous how a mere article in the Daily Prophet can manipulate everyone's past experiences of this school. That one time Hagrid spent three full days heaving Christmas trees into the Great Hall? Yeah, apparently that was a show of power meant to intimidate us. Marlin, why has this even happened? Because people like to stick to their judgments. What are you doing here? All about the questions today, huh? Um, I come here all the time. Really? Yeah. Sometimes Slytherins really make me want to curse them to hell. So you just come down here and be angry about it instead? Yeah, pretty much. Great. Want to talk about it? To that thing? <laughs> yeah. Trust me, it helps. Yeah, alright. So, where should we start? Uh, about how annoying my entire house is, about how they're constantly trying to better themselves against each other and of course always forcing their opinions down your throat, how some of them revel in flaunting their latest achievements, which is usually their parents' achievements that they're taking credit for. I mean, it's all about reputation, it's bloody annoying. But I thought you said all the Slytherins stuck together. Like they're a part of a pack or something. I said that last year, how do you remember that? Um. Ravenclaw brains. Alright. Yeah, I think it kind of is. Everyone's constantly striving for the best reputation, whether it's through money or fear or blood status. Everyone wants to be on top. After all, a pack's got to have a leader and I think a lot of Slytherin's aiming for that spot. Also, things are getting worse. I mean, last year, there's the only occasional test of power. This year, things are changing. Honestly. That's just down at your me. <laughs> Why do you think that is? I don't know. Maybe it's the arrival of the two new schools, more people to compare yourselves with and all that. I mean, you've got to remember, Jamie, if you're ambitious and you've got a goal, you're constantly comparing yourself to other people with that same goal. Take me, for example. I want to be the head of the Department of International Magical Cooperation. I'm aware. You better be. Anyway, I know at least two people in our year three people in the third year and a kid in second year all with their eye on that department I have to make sure I beat them to that position that's what life in Slytherin's become like a constant race to the top Wow It's hard to believe life in Slytherin's gotten that bad Well it is for me but I hear different people have different experiences especially if they already have their own group in the house Huh? Oh that pat like attitude hasn't stopped this year I don't think it ever will stop It's in the nature of every Slytherin It's just that I abandoned the group I was part of which means I've lost all forms of protection within the house I mean, for me there's no sense of unity because I'm an outsider and that's not appreciated. I hope it can stop soon though, that blood purity stops in the be all and end all of whether or not you're popular. I mean, we all go into Slytherin for the same reason, you know. Like, the personality traits required for entry should be respected no matter who you are. Mm. And everyone feels that way? Definitely not. Merlin, my opinion only changed a couple of years ago when I left my, um, group. Is that what Daniela was talking about earlier? What do you mean? This morning, outside Defence Against the Dark Arts. She said she used to be a good Slytherin, but that's all changed now. Is it because you abandoned them? Because, I mean, if Slytherin is about protecting each other, was she trying to say that you'd left those ideals behind, or was it something else? Um, uh, um, it was just, well, it was just, um... Sam, what's wrong? Um... Let's talk about Quidditch. Wait, what? Well, Slytherin have always focused very much on tradition, which is one of the reasons why the whole pure-blood elitist ideas have remained around. Sam, what's going on? Well, the Quidditch team shows this. I mean, I don't think any group of witches and wizards hold on to tradition as much, well, maybe the Ministry. Sam, you're scaring me. Which is why I'm really on the reserve team. I mean, they never play me in an actual game, despite the fact that I could probably hit every member of the opposing team for this first goal was scored. Sam, what? Wait. Really? Mm hmm. So, you mean they're not going to play a female beater because of what? Tradition? Exactly. That's awful. 
But hey, with you getting on the reserve team, that just shows how skilled you are. Why, thank you. <laughs> but still, about what Daniela said. Look, I have to go. Sam, no, wait, what's going on?